Benz, I'm driving. I let the bros drive it. If I'm tired, just watch the mileage. Licking with these vibes, we get connected like we wired. Looking at these lights inside these bins, get me inspired. Passing niggas like they flash. <laughs> There we go. We're going to, this is natural. This is a podcast. So we're going to start with just like that. Yeah, thank you should. for that, Dan. That's you got to. Thank you for that. Respectfully, that's what I do. That's what you do. That's what I do. I want to introduce everybody. First off, this is the perfect network. My name is Rio. We have Jazz here. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. All right, we got Dan. You ought to know you. Dancing Dan. Yeah, Dan Rue. And Dan, you. for those of y'all who don't know Dan, Dan, what are you known for? Peter pipe, pick a pipe. All right, can I get a little pee pipe? Hey. Pee pick, pick, can I get a little? Hey. Can we move this out? Hey. The, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you know. That's what you know. That's that's him. I'm gonna slide that right back over to you. And we got Adri. How you doing? Good. How are you? That's amazing. I'm doing amazing. So, first off, I wanted to go ahead and dive into uh, cancel culture, right? Ooh. Because that's something major. That's I think in the past like two years, it's been a lot of it. Starting with Tory Lanes, we've had. R. Kelly, we've, you know, so many things going on. How do you guys feel about cancel culture? You want to go first? You looked at me. Why you? <laughs> she looked at you. She looked at you. She looked at you. I'll speak on. I'll this. speak on it lightly. Um, I feel sometimes people jump the gun. Mm. They want to cancel. You know, especially in the culture, it's like people want to cancel each other without knowing the facts, the hard truth. They just jump into it. Right. Oh, he did this because they saw one video or one clip of something. You know what I'm saying? So I think people really need to sit back, educate themselves on the whole situation before you jump to conclusions and then decide what you want to do. But I'm not a big fan of cancer culture. I think it's, I think it's kind of, eh, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. It's a lot yeah. of dragging people we, down. We yeah. all, right. we, all, we live in one world and it's hard as men, as men, it's hard. It's definitely hard for us. For sure. Respectfully. <laughs> and women. Yeah, I was going to say let me tell y'all But you guys got it a little easier. I'm not going to lie to you. Y'all hey, do. Look, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. A man, see, I'm a man, so I know. Respectfully, let's see, y'all are gorgeous, beautiful women. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so it takes a lot for, we're we not canceling them. We're not canceling y'all. Like, they were trying to, you, they were trying, trying to cancel Doja Cat. That's Doja Cat. Like, no, let me so tell you. many people. Hey, look, look, so check this out. So check this out. So that's why when they post a pictures of like a man in jail, all the girls are like, mm, I get him. I don't care if he murdered anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's respectfully like mm. women have power and they don't realize it. I feel like you guys don't realize that y'all have power. I feel yeah, like I we have power, but like in different ways. Okay, go ahead. Like girls can have power in like getting what they want by looks, but mm -hmm. men can also get their way just from. They mm. get respect easier. Yeah, like, like respect. women, it's like, oh, she just had to sleep with this person. Yeah, exactly. The or they just assume that. everything you've done or accomplished uh -huh. was from a man, except no, this was from my own merit. Yeah. But I do agree that cancel culture, I feel like it promotes and pushes hate. And like yeah. judgment and like we're all humans and I feel like people all be so mistakes, quick right? to yeah it's so quick to judge like some people can make mistakes some are big mistakes but yeah. I feel like it's just like too much hate and judgmental yeah. comments like I feel like even on the internet everyone's so quick to just want to do like funny comments they want to have the funniest comments so they're just going to say like what's going to yeah, get the right. most likes. Get the most likes. Right. Yeah, come right over this way because I don't know why this is jumping. It just keeps right, cool. This is a natural podcast, guys. And yeah, yeah, everybody <laughs> slide over. Let's get okay. close, guys. Let's get close <laughs> together. <laughs> Let's get comfortable. Shit, nah, but um, I, I agree with both perspectives, but um, I do think it is a lot harder. Can you guys name three women who have been canceled in the past? We could even say five years. Name three. You said Doja Cat already. I'll give you okay. that. Name but three. She's not canceled. Everybody not even. They do love Doja Cat. <laughs> That's crazy. Can we name two others? I said Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner. Brittany, Brittany's not canceled. Yet. She's not canceled I, I at that. She's, she's she not promoted. Really yet. I think I Brittany Renner like promoted no, more so of what she stands for. So I don't think she was canceled at all. Uh, I think nah. they pushed her agenda forward even more. Yeah, I feel like I feel like yeah. they just raised that the bar for her sure. because regardless of what people say about Brittany, I I like as a as I'm not saying this out of out of friendship because I fuck with her like respectfully like i fuck with her and we've been friends for years she's out here doing her shit 
Respect, respectfully, like she's out here hustling, she's grinding just like a guy would. So I can't, I can't hate on her. You, you know, I, I see it, I see it from a different perspective because I feel like women and men are equal, right? You, you know, I feel like they should be equal. I feel like women should have equal rights to anything. So if a girl want to do this with a guy, what's wrong with that? Because guys do it with girls. So like, I, I, respectfully, that's what okay. I'm saying. So. That's a good way to look at it. But I don't think every man thinks of it that way. Like, I feel like those girls may not get canceled, but they get talked about and, like, yeah. looked down like on, basically. Put down bad. You can, but maybe... You, you can look down on a woman all you I'm want, I'm trying to think, though, what man has been canceled where they're just gone? Tori. Yeah, that's true. But Tori's he's coming, coming back. back. We're not, he's coming okay. back. Let's talk about it. But let me yeah. tell you, Can we talk about something right now? Go ahead. Kyrie Irving right now is getting slayed. He's getting... Yeah, slayed, he's but getting, he's not he's, canceled. No, no, no. No, no, no. But they are taking yeah. millions and... Mi Nike just suspended him. Nike, he's getting he's just, like he's not even playing right now. Right, he now. has he has a list of requirements. So they're they're basically like kind of comparing it to like slavery um, and saying he has a list of requirements that he has to you know uphold before he can start playing again. And, that's and so cool. that's that's mm. starting with I think what was it five hundred thousand um, dollars that he has to give to some type of charity that promotes. But, but that's, oh, that's yeah. you, yeah. you see what he's saying. But, yeah. but the thing is, he never. Like the anti sim thing, like he never said anything bad. If he just posted. No, he yeah. just posted it was just something. The media. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, the yeah. media that Kanye. Yeah. Kanye. 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 Yeah. They took billions from it, and that's right. different to wake up and two billion dollars yeah, is stolen just, from you, and yeah. the, you know, no, and on the, the next day. The thing is, the thing is, and I don't hate the shade. I love the shade room. Like mm -hmm. I went on a trip with them a couple years, a few years ago. We had mm -hmm. so much fun. The people at shade room, um, but the thing is, like, they made a post like. Kanye is no longer a billionaire. It's like, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. making it worse, yeah, making it worse than what it really is, you know, but I know it's a shade room. So they got, they're doing their job. So right. regardless of what happens, I yeah. love the shade room good people, but I'm just saying like, and we don't, we don't, uh, we also don't really know how much of that is true. Like how much exactly. he's really yeah. worth, uh, you know, everybody's net worth online isn't what they're actually yeah, worth, yeah, exactly. you know? So, you know, yeah. that's different. And then, um, cause I think even, uh, who else? I mean, as far as cancel culture, we, we talked about three guys. So we got Kyrie, we got um, Tori. You guys said he wasn't really canceled, but that, that brings up my next question of, do you guys separate the artist from the art? Because of that whole situation, we don't really know who no did it, who mm -hmm. didn't do it. I'm so glad you said that because respectfully... I've been fucking with Tori for years. I'm talking I about Chick State one, I'm not two. I'm going to to you. I love Tori. He is an amazing like artist. He's Versatile. So that's yeah. that's the same thing as saying like uh, Kobe. Let's put Kobe, you know, RIP. Let's put Kobe in perspective. Like some people may have had a bad experience with him off the court, but like on the court, I loved him as who he was. Right. Yeah. You know, and same with like Michael yeah. Jackson. Yeah, there would be a lot of people who it's like, mm, oh, he, can we listen to yeah. their music? But yeah. I don't think it takes away from their talent. Mm -hmm. So do but you? It, I think a lot of people it's like, do you want to support somebody support and put money it? in their so pocket? But at the same time, it's like, it's like everybody has their own little things in their life, though that like their own baggage and stuff, and we don't go around like knowing it and then being like, right. oh, I can't be friends oh, with them because okay. the okay. we just okay, know so their baggage. Can, we, can I ask you a question? Loved. So R. Kelly. All right, mm -hmm. so you you seen... Are y'all still bumping <laughs> R. Kelly? Is it still bumping still, grind? Is it still... still you know I mean? <laughs> is it still ignition? <laughs> like, are we still going crazy to that? Or do you, you know what I'm saying? Or do y'all do it... Also, do you guys do it privately, but when you're around certain people, like, certain will you people. listen to, you know... Well, you listen to R. Kelly around certain people. Um, do you not mind I mean, when R. Kelly's being played? I don't mind. I don't mind when yeah. R. Kelly's being played. Yeah, because it's it. not like I'm. But and the thing is, R. Kelly is a sucks. hard one. Yeah, because yeah, like, maybe, maybe someone does feel. Here's the thing that people don't understand about R. Kelly, and I, I'm glad we brought this up. I brought this up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He has written so much music for artists that people don't know. About. I know. Yeah, I don't. It's write songs about it. that you could be like, <laughs> oh, I love that song. R. Kelly wrote that. Ah, oh, damn. I can't listen to it anymore. Damn, like, what are you gonna anymore. do? Maybe even we could still listen to it, but not support him as a person. Support him as a so person. You, yeah, Maybe as a person. Because yeah. there's also a lot of other people who work who get paid off him that did not do what he did so it's mm -hmm. like a lot of other people should we yeah they're know, benefiting from it too so if we're like right. it's going for him it's just his personal yeah. you know 
Gotcha. So, yeah. you know, we've spoken a lot about uh, celebrities, influencers, things like that. You guys are all influencers yourselves. What do you guys classify yourselves as? Influencers or? I mean, I consider myself as an entertainer. As an like, entertainer. I'm not going to say like influencer. The re- respectfully, like, like, yeah, I've done better. stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I've worked my ass off to get where right. I am mm-hmm. today. And, like, and, you know, not just the following I have, but just being a joyful person. Like, right. I've done TV. I've done. I've you guys did Wild and Out together, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we, did. we did. We did. We did. We did yeah. do Wild Out. Did uh, you know Dan from before? Out. I think this is the first, first time, time we, we really met. Yeah. Yeah. I, d- I didn't even know Jasmine had a beautiful sister. She didn't tell I me. I know, it was right? Crazy. Yeah, she hides her. Too she, much. she hides her. No, she hides, hides my sister. Me. Hides me from the world. <laughs> right. So <laughs> I'm hiding the world from her. <laughs> so with you guys being influencers, entertainers, uh, let's start with the ladies. Um, what do you guys consider a high value man? Mm. Wow, she said deep, none of them none of them <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no such thing can i capitalize on that question you can go ahead would y'all date a guy who had a nine to five that's making let's say 50 a year i did i did too <laughs> i think for me i'm attracted to it's not necessarily what where they're at right now but i am attracted to ambition mm-hmm. yeah so if you're striving okay. for yeah. something so that's why when people are like oh gold digger i'm not yeah. i'm more so attracted if you have yeah. goals and you want to reach a certain point in your so life and you're always or you're like a boss too so you're yeah like, so if you're yeah. so if i was a man who was working a nine to five i I'm make let's just say i'm making 40 50 a year but I'm not, I'm trying to do more than just that. I'm trying to yeah. do something. I'm not trying to start a rap career. I'm talking about like, yeah, yeah. like you know, I have go- really real estate or something yeah. like, like, is that the type of guy you would? Oh, for sure. Be- I as would do that as, for sure. Yeah, as long as you're making steps towards something and you're like really working towards, you're not just like, mm-hmm. I don't know, yeah. being lazy, playing video games or something. Right. Then like. But what if what if you were a streamer and you were growing and like some of these kids out here be doing their thing on the internet with the gaming stuff? Do you it's see? True. It? But do you but see that? How many hours are you going to be gaming? That's true. Yeah. Because I also don't like, like guys that are waiting. always on the game like twenty four seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys have I had that before. That. You've had men that just sat on the game the whole time. Yeah, I have. yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Also, what, at what point in time did you guys date the man who was on like the lower, you know, financial spectrum? Was this? You know, before you guys got as much of an influence as you guys do now, or was this back in the day? It was before. One of them, like, he was kind of in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of what you were saying, like, working towards something. Yeah, yeah. And that was not too long ago. Mm -hmm. But then I think after that is when I start going for the guys that, like, were already had ambition and were already kind of, like, on their way. Yeah. Yeah, Like, closer to Mm -hmm. Same. Mine was not that long ago. Maybe, like, two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. But... I do agree. I'm on the like rise of trying to like work and like I also want to be in my feminine energy. Right. Yeah, so you got to be in your that. masculine energy and also be on the same page where we're like building an empire. Can so you elaborate? I can't be. Can you elaborate when you say you feel like you can't yeah. you can't be feminine with somebody that you make more than or that you're doing more than? Ooh, I think I question? could, but it's almost like their ego gets hurt. That's and true. I think you know what's crazy? I can see that. that. Is, you know yeah. what's so crazy? Is, I yeah. swear so to God, true. if I meet a woman that makes more money than me, praise God. <laughs> I don't I don't see I mean, it. I, I, I don't see it. Praise God, so, though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I, was, I would, would be you, like. You'd be like. I you want to be intimidated you by okay, so it? Okay, so I would be so happy. No, no. I'm, I don't. Me, personally, if a woman is making more money than me, babe, look. I love what you're doing. Show me the way. Let's work together. Let's, right. you know, and let's you, build this. That's, that's great crazy. that you feel that way. But I feel uh. like a lot of women and I have a lot of other successful friends that like have a lot of issues dating because they make good money and they feel like Can. they just a lot of the men get insecure mm. and they just feel less than a man and they end up cheating with someone who doesn't make mm. barely anything. It's, yeah, I, someone they can kind of yeah. like control because so, they're yes. the ones that make the money. So they yeah. know the girls. So let me say, I'm gonna, I'll say something. One thing I'll say. You know, I've never, like, I rarely meet women that are bosses. And I would love to meet a woman who's a boss, who wants to grow. I, okay, so I'll say this. Since I've moved here in L.A., I've been here, fuck, almost five years now. I've been in L.A. I come from nothing. Like, I was homeless. True story. I don't want to get into all that. It's just a long story. Anyway. Story. Huh? 
Long story. Long story. Long story. <laughs> I was sleeping in my car for eight months before <laughs> I met Nick Knack Paddywhack and we blew up together. So that's just my brother just Nick. Shout crazy. out Nick. Shout out Nick. You heard me? <laughs> Love your brother. <laughs> um, so the thing is, like, I've never met a woman who has never. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that has come up to me. I've met women. Okay. Yes, I, know. <laughs> yes, I know you. I met you. You're you're okay. a woman, okay? But that has been into me and also wanting to be like, hey, I love what you do. Let's see what we can do together. Like what can we right. do together? Can I can I help you whatever money you're making, can I double it? Can I triple it? Can mm -hmm. I help you go beyond your expectations in life? I've never met a woman who has been eager to wanna the hunger to want to work business something nine times out of ten and i'll say this and i'll be honest the women that i've met they either want something they don't really have nothing going they don't reach out for advice they they think they know it all and they just they don't they don't ask for the they don't they want to work together they don't want to work together it's more of a can i <coughs> what can i yeah. Can I bring something up? So I think the whole like gold digger thing, I don't really like that. I don't really like uh, that it's like a negative connotation behind a woman wanting a man with yeah. success or like a man wanting certain things from a woman. Because mm -hmm. honestly, it's like, you know, they say you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't I want yeah. a right. woman who was successful, beautiful, you know, yeah, things like that? Why wouldn't a woman want a man who, you know, has all these higher values mm -hmm. to uplift her? You know, right. especially if that's the person that I'm going to be spending the most time with. I want that person to be, you know, somebody who can elevate me. Yeah, of course. You know right. what I'm saying? No, that makes sense. I I feel like for sure who you surround yourself with, they say all the time, your friends, your group, you make, you'll end up making like the average of what your group makes. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you're spending majority of your time with someone, I want to be with someone who's like also business minded like me and who also has these ambitions and like, yeah, we're going to grow together. So it's not really like, that's why I hate the like gold digger yeah. conversation too. Cause I feel like a lot of women just want now, if you're just trying to use someone like you're saying where these women, they don't want to bring anything to the table right. yeah, except yeah, yeah. themselves. Like I do think that you need something and that could be, you want to be a stay at home mom that's a lot to the table too because People that's a lot of work. So lot. what? So People if you don't. want to become, <laughs> but you got to really Audrey, be taking we'll, care of the we'll, kids. You can't we'll be start with you. <laughs> if you want to be a, if you want to be a stay at home mom, what do you think that consists of as far as like what are your responsibilities? As you, a stay at home, do mom. you want to be a stay at home mom? If you, as, yeah, I mean, yeah. Basically, if you're not offering she's anything, she's like, yeah, yeah, if, if you're not mom. offering anything to your man except for yourself. What, what does that, like, come with? What will you offer to that man? For me, it would be, like, support. So, like, whatever you need and stuff, I'm going to be there 24-7. Like, I'm holding the house down. Like, the kids, if we have kids, like, I'm going to the school. I'm going to the meetings. I'm doing all that. I want to be active in my kid's life. So that's going to be a lot. And then just, yeah, whatever my man needs, I'm going to be there for him 24-7. So, like, yeah. just you, support, love, cook? and all that. Do you cook? Yeah, I cook too. Cook? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, cook? she does. She does cook. Mm -hmm. I do cook. too. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, she does. She does all the <laughs> She's cooking. Like, She's yeah, like, we're sisters. Like, she be cooking. We cook Our together. Our mom taught us to cook. Our mom okay. taught us. And I love that. Treat our men well. So, so. Would, the, would the men in your past say that you guys have treated them well? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it was always them, I not feel, you guys. I feel bad, man. I feel yeah. bad because I. She's like, she's like, okay, <laughs> like maybe yes. once or twice it was me, like a couple of times. Was it ever you? No, I think I just sometimes dealt with insecure men that would feel a way about like other men approaching me or so, right. like stuff like that. So they probably would yeah. say, oh, like she's too nice, she's too friendly, but I've never like been a cheater or anything like That's that. Good. So right. I think she just triggers their jealousy. I sometimes. trigger jealousy right. sometimes. And so I've been working on that. So do do women not understand that a man being jealous or a man being protective or a man being, you know, kind of insecure about certain things, that's just like a, a sign of love. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like if I, we all have cars, how do we protect our cars? We lock them, right? Mm -hmm. We can't lock you guys in the house. Thanks. We would like to. Y'all are beautiful. We'll just, I would want to. Yep. Don't leave. <laughs> no man should ever see you. No, no Instagram posts, you know, in a perfect world. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case. So since we can't lock you guys 
away and just, you know, we, we express to you guys that, okay, this, this makes me uncomfortable. This makes me uncomfortable. This makes me uncomfortable. How do you guys show security to your guys' partner? When you're in a relationship, or do you just say, she or do you just do what you as said as and be like, be oh, don't be, side. don't be insecure. Is that what you said? Don't be insecure. I mean, I think that I do think that some jealousy is healthy. Like I don't want my man to not care at all because yeah. that's yeah. that's worrisome. But I feel like. I mean, that's I'm very good at giving. Very, that's right? very, 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 right? Sometimes I like, like it, honestly. You like bad. a little <laughs> bit. Like yeah, it. She, let's just say, for instance, you and your girlfriends, I'd be like. Oh, okay, go ahead. No, you so if we're, <laughs> going, if we're going to go, okay, so if we're going to be going out, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go with the girls. I tell you everything we're doing. I'm letting you know. I'm going to text you by the end of the night. Then why there's some boy, some of my friends' boyfriends or men or whatever that will just be trying to like start a fight with you while you're out or text you the whole time. It's like, now you just don't want me. You're so, trying to ruin my night on purpose. Yeah. yeah. Like you should just make sure I'm checking in with you and then to I'm going to hit you by the end of the night. I love arguing. You guys are love toxic. Arguing. It's, great. it's toxic when Time. we're out yeah. for a girl's night. So here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing. I hear everything you're saying. I mean, I'm not going to be in someone else's booth or something right. like that. that so, but that's not all but, women because that's. But, what do girls do? They're not paying for the section, so that means what? If they're going not, to some some yeah. some little trapper, rich dude, <laughs> you know, you just all in his <laughs> section, like. People, and what if it's like the girl's thing. friends, talks like she talks guy? to him or something, and then she's bringing us? This is how it looks to us, right? It, men men get women in the section who look good, right? So you guys are just yeah. trophies at that point, right? right? Exactly. So in my mind. This nigga over here showing my girl yeah. off, like, <laughs> exactly. like it's his girl, okay. and let okay. and let him pour a bottle down your. Th oh. Oh. oh, it's over with. I'm in the club, like just, just no. You know? I agree. I, I, I agree. You better get a cup. A I would never. You better, you better get a cup. Shit. Crazy. I agree. That Crazy. Is I will set it off. Thought, let yeah. me see you in the background of somebody's video, <laughs> one of the homies' videos. <laughs> Jasmine. <and the> <laughs> Yo, it's up. It's up. If you're in, relationship, if you're in a relationship with a guy, y'all, I mean, y'all go out with your girls. Let's say y'all go to DR. Where the fuck y'all go? Oh, at? a trip with another guy. I can see how that would be. Yeah, yeah I don't think well, I'm just saying, like, let's say wherever y'all went. Let's say y'all go to Vegas. All right, y'all go to Vegas. Y'all have a fun, boom, boom, boom. I'm not one of the guys that be like, yo, you know, you need to text me every hour. Fuck all that. Just text me. FaceTime me before you go home. Or you go to yeah. sleep, something like that. That's all right. I need. Yeah. That's all I really need. Yeah, that's and true. at the end of the day, you know, I'm gonna find out if you fucking around. I'm gonna <laughs> beat your motherfucker. <laughs> no, that's really good. But no, nah, real talk. Like I'm not I an insecure agree. guy, but it is an insecurity. Yeah. It is mm -hmm. because, like for instance, um, if I was talking to you, this is a situation too. I ain't gonna say no names. I'm, One more uh, other thing, right? All right, go ahead. Also, from a man's perspective, like we know how. It is when a woman is out and how men act. So a lot of the time, we don't place our insecurities on you guys because we don't trust you. I mean, we don't trust y'all either. But, <laughs> but we don't trust y'all either. That's where you but guys it's more start so. Is with the trust. It's the more so. Okay, so even if we trust. even if we trust y'all, we don't we ne we never trust y'all. But we even we if we say that we trust, y'all yeah. don't trust us because y'all be in the group chats and, and all that. That's trust, what the yeah. dirt is. Trust you ever want to find some, you ever want to find out what's really going on? You ever want to ruin your relationship? Go, go through to that, the group chat. Go through that phone and go through the group chat. If you look me if a woman look me in the eyes and tell me she loves me. And she'll never fuck around. That that's a different type of vibe. Like if you can get a woman in your life to literally look you in the fucking eyes and tell you I fucking they will love look you, you in your, they will I look love you, you dead I in your never eye, do anything and like they that. will that's lie straight to that's you. Awesome. That made me feel a whole lot better. You oh, know what I'm saying? There's, I there's so many women who will look you in the eyes yeah, yeah. and they'll tell you. Look, she's over here like what? Like, I, would, a lot I would look dead in there. Good women, I do that. Yeah, you, can trust. you, you feel yeah. like it's a lot of trustworthy mm. women. Yeah, there is. There so, is. so the basis of that was it's not always that we just don't trust you guys or you know anything like that. We know men, right? And that's why yeah. we have these insecurities. So when you guys are even when you guys are out walking through clubs, what do men do? Grab you by oh, the yeah, for they sure. grab you by the the mm -hmm. ass. You know, yeah. grab you by the head, bring you close, you know all of that. Like, and so even that in itself is like. That's that's out of pocket for us. Absolutely. Like you're doing, you know, and we can't control certain things. And so, mm -hmm. you know, we and then a lot of the times a man won't say anything. So see how I feel is like we have been getting hit on our whole lives. Women like we can go to the gas station at night yeah. and we're getting hit on. So I feel like women know for the most part how to like handle that. 
Mm-hmm. Now, men, it seems like if one girl tries to hit on them, they're like, ooh, this is different. And they can't control themselves sometimes, yeah. it seems like. In a, in a sense, yeah, it, it, it also... Because it's not as yeah. common. Well, it also yeah. depends on the type of men. So or, I, think, right, exactly. I think that's why high-value women should have high-value men, right? Because mm-hmm. when, when you're a high-value woman, that means you have access to more, right? So you guys are, have a, a large influence. So that means there's... A hundred that how many followers do you have? Like five hundred thousand. Okay. Five like five hundred thousand or whatever. So you have how much? <laughs> uh eight hundred and fifty. Okay, 000. like eight hundred and fifty thousand or something. So that's already eight hundred thousand times more than the average girl, right? So you have more eyes on you, you have more high not not just any type of eyes, but you have the higher tier of men that are coming for you. Can I ask you a question? Right. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Not pretending any names or anything, but when you got out of your last relationship, how many guys were in your DMs? Ooh. They didn't wait till she was out of the relationship. (laughs) No, no, you know what, though? But when it happened. But I did notice a little bit of a decline in the relationship, but it's like they found out before me that our relationship was over because it did, it was pretty crazy. And I'm talking friends. Co-workers, whoever associated with them, it's like people that, mm. a lot of different people of that ex. Well, at the end of the day, you know, everything happens for a reason. Uh, God put us on this planet for a reason. So we do what we got to do to keep pushing forward. And at the end of the day, you know, we can't, we can't let, if, it, if it's in the past, it's in the past. Akuna Matata. That's right. You feel me? We got to you, get you been, on. You've been, True. what do you want to say? It's on your tongue. Yeah, but just because people are DMing and all this stuff does not mean... No, I was mean. just asking a question. I was just asking a question. This yeah. isn't about, like, you know, doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you had a ton of guys. Like, this, oh, yeah, that's I just, was like, that's ah, just get away. Everybody. Guys in general. <laughs> yeah. Guys, yeah. Yeah, fuck, guys will holler. I, I holler at girls sometimes. I'll be like, hey, how you doing? Where you at? What you doing? What you want to do? I just think there has to be trust because we, yeah. we're, we're used to it. Like, okay. even a woman who does not have a large following, I'm sure gets hit on a lot because mm-hmm. I feel like... Mm-hmm. I know a lot of my friends, even friends without following, they get on, hit on on a daily basis. So I feel like I feel like men need to trust us a little bit. Like we know what we're doing. Like we know how to shut it down. Mm-hmm. But do you guys uh, in any of your past relationships? Did you guys know who was next before that current relationship was over? No. Adrian. No, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> She's like, well, no, well, the I didn't one know time who was next. There's times where people like message you or you'll see them out and you're like, oh, okay, that person seems cool and cute. But like, you don't really like find attraction as much when you're in a relationship. Like, you might see them and they're like, okay, he's a cute guy. When you're in love. Yeah. 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 Have yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. Have you guys ever been in a relationship but not been in love? Just been somewhere, just unhappy. Like, why am I here? I'm sure. I'm. Sh- no. I, no. For me, I the relationships been. I was in love. Really? How many yeah. relationships have you been in? Two. Two. And you? Two real. Too, too yeah, I think that's good. I think it scares me when I hear that a girl is like, oh, like I only date and I've been in like plenty of relationships. Like I've been with like how many boyfriends have you had? Oh, like six. I think anything over oh. like four is kind of yeah, scary yeah. because that means you could that's just fully point. give your heart and your love and just everything uh-huh. and that just end and you just do it over again. Like regardless yeah, of how that ended right. like it was just easy for you to go and start that same connection and bond with somebody else i think that scares me that is yeah scary. i can't that's a hard thing if you think about it like to give your heart and soul to someone and the thing is what i think what i'd be scared the most of like if i give my all to someone are they gonna give it back you know nine times mm-hmm. out of ten yeah like it's i know million dollar question. i know i know girls like playing hard to get yeah you know every a lot of girls like playing a little hard to get and they want you to engage your time in something but and like from my experience like if i give you my time and i press you and i hit you up like is it worth it is it worth it for me to hit you up all the time all right what am i gonna get out of this am i just getting another friend am i getting something a relationship at the point in my life i'd be like i don't know what to expect because i've been and roller coasters with women so many times, so I don't know. I think men do the same thing, though. I think uh, men kind of play that that game too. I think for both men and women, we like the chase. Right. Men for sure because we're we're hunters. 
right? So we we love the chase, like. Yeah. But I think girls as well, when when a a guy is like, oh, I like you're nice, but like let's be friends. It's almost like, like what? I, yeah, you. What like, did you say? <laughs> like, I want you. I, now I you like want to be more just because, yeah. yeah, it's a natural instinct to chase. That's why it I don't seems think like I the d- nice guys and the nice women finish last, they say, because it's almost like if there's a little pushback, you want to, like, mm-hmm. try to chase more. But I feel like times are changing, though. That is where I true. Feel like We're the hunters men, now. Now it's like women are <laughs> becoming the hunters. the hunters and men are wanting to be chased. Like, women yeah. are just and scary I'm, right now. It's like, it's just a whole different right ballgame. It's so different. I just like, I like it. If I'm up front with you, just be up front with me. I like that. Like, Mm. if I tell you what I'm looking for, just tell me what you're looking for. Don't, I'll beat around the bush. This is the thing, though. If you tell somebody like, oh, I'm really into you now, I feel like some guys think, oh, I have her. Now I can like talk to other people. I I have her where I want her. You feel like guys really think like that? I do. For sure. So you've. I know so many girls like that have like. They end up having sex with a guy, and he's like, okay, she's really about me now. Like, now I can just talk to other girls. Well, do you know why that is? And I'll tell you why I think it is. But why do you think guys feel like once they have sex with a girl, they got them in a the bag? Why do you feel like that? I don't know. Their energy Honestly. changes. Maybe because they were chasing, and then they're like, okay, I got they what got I them. want. Yeah. Got what all right, now is. she's hooked on me because they assume all women, once they have sex with you, they're going to be uh, hooked on you and attached to you. So then they're like, I got her where I want her, so now I can do me and pull so back a little bit. Do you guys think, just a question, do you guys think that men feel like they have reached the prize after they have sex with a woman because a woman's, you know, body is the prize? Oh, I mean, or, I'll let them answer. Or do you think... And it might be different from you it guys, depends but depends from person to person. Because yeah. I also know a lot of friends and personal experience where like you could sleep with someone faster and that that's ends true. up being your and long-term still, relationship. Yeah, right. that's true. Um, and then I know a lot of women who they sleep with them and then after that their energy just changes and they pull back. I think so, guys know. Like they know if they're the connection is right, like, oh, I could see myself being with them for a while, or I'm gonna use this person jump. to sleep with them and then yeah. and then I'm do whatever I want. Right. Yeah. And maybe it's the energy that that woman gives off too. Yeah. Like I set a certain standard. I'm, you know, like if you want to girlfriend material, no. I'm a I'm the prize type of thing, not what I can yeah. offer you. But so here's the here's the twist on that, right? How do we get out of that? We get out of that by having more to offer. You know what I'm saying? So that's and a lot of girls. I think the funny thing is, like you guys said, there's some you know, relationships where they start off, you know, with the one night stand and that didn't stop at that one night. It just carried out. Right. But you can build a friendship with Tom. You can build emotions with Tom. Um, you can build trust with Tom. So I think Tom is the biggest component in a relationship or with anybody. Right. So it doesn't matter mm-hmm. on when you're giving yourself to them, but you got to find out off rip if they have intentions on spending time with you. Mm-hmm. Right. right. That is the hardest part. Yeah. Though. You like if you put in time into hanging out part. with somebody, you put in this time. Can you imagine? Like I'm just, I'm just, I'm just putting in perspective how I think sometimes. Like if I hang out with this girl, I go do stuff with her. Like if I do all this stuff with her, and she's not really into me like that, I just wasted my time. Yeah, you know that's why. Like me, I'm a blunt person. Like I'd be like, okay, this is what I'm looking for, or this is like. I'm potentially like, you know, I, I like you. I'm, you Scoot know. chairs up a little bit too. No, no, no. Uh, Dan, because Dan's spitting some good stuff. He's spitting some good stuff. I know. Back I have something to say back to this too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Being real. So you scoot that up to you, Dan. So I want I want to make sure everybody so hears this. Here's the you thing. can stretch it out. Here's so. the thing. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, for me personally, I've been around beautiful women my entire, like, career of social media. Like, gorgeous women. Right. But the thing is, like, um, I have been, I have been mostly single for this entire five years since I moved out to LA. I say mostly. Mm. Dating's hard out here. Dating is really hard. It's bad. And then yeah, <laughs> don't come to LA mean. looking for love. No. And I think everybody let in me, LA let me knows tell that. You guys something. This is not the place. I hang around a lot of women and women. It's tough because I don't like, it's almost so hard to tell. That's why now I'm just a blunt person. I'd be like, at this point, I'm not looking for anything because I feel like 
none of these women out here are looking for anything, you know, because I, I just got out of something. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, it's not like recently, but yeah. this, this. Don't give up on that. I have some people. Let, that let me, let me tell you something. <laughs> I, feel, I feel, like, I feel like. Look, I, guys, I, Dan is, Dan is, Dan, can you, Dan, can you <laughs> tell everybody what you're looking for? <laughs> Look, we're gonna, looking matter of fact, we're going to go right here, to, Dan. I, I, Dan, tell I, them what I, you're let, looking for. When I, when I, I, I find the right woman, I would be more than happy to try to get try my best to give her the world. Mm. And I feel like that is also been my downfall because I jumped to conclusions in the past. We're having fun with women. You know, like I've had sex with women, like gorgeous women. And, you know, but the thing is, it's like. The squiggle, you be squiggling with <laughs> Squiggle. But I know, I know, I'm dude, being, bro. I I'm, know, I'm girls, now, you now, girls got to be going crazy you know, with the with the Dan. Al, the, alcohol, the alcohol is in me, so I'm gonna let it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the thing Dan, is, I know you go crazy. Dan, Dan be in that lit. Hey, look, look. A Peter, a Piper. Uh, <laughs> I'm not Piper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, but I'm being real. It's and I found out that it's more than that. I put my hard time, my mind, my love into some some women. Just to be like, well, blah, 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 blah. And then two weeks later, they went fucking an artist in their section. You know, it's like, like, I don't, I don't want to waste my time no more. Just be honest with me, you know. And there are women out there that I have grown friendships with that I love to death. Like I would do anything for, um, I am a really, I have a big heart. And that's the worst. That's like I feel like that's also my downfall sometimes right. because I'm too, I'm too giving. I'm too, like, and then I'm hesitant, you know, because it's like I don't want to get into something, and you just be like, mm, well, you know. I think I think men, uh, men have it very bad. Um, and let me tell you why we have it bad. <laughs> Wait a second. And, okay. and she just looks so shocked, but let me explain. <laughs> let me explain this to you, right? How often do you cry a month? I don't got tears. I'm an emotional I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't cry as much. So I cry for she movies. Cries a lot. I cry for everything. I will <laughs> cry for some movies, but right. I'm not as emotional. As I've, I've, I've asked that question to some women, and they're Compared like, oh, like, like once a week. You know, like oh. it's you know, it's 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 normal thing to just let it out for. Yeah. Now to men express yourself. To express yourself, right? Uh -huh. Men don't do that. Yeah. So keep in mind all the traumas that you guys have been able to let out, all the uh, relationships, the broken hearts, all the you know, family history, deaths, whatever the case is. Um, you guys have let them out in so many ways. Mm -hmm. We bottle that up. Right. You know, the that's yeah, our, definitely that's a big issue. Not just for like a year, not for a couple of years, but for our entire life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it takes, you know, something when if you ever see a man cry, just know like they're not just crying out like that moment or that instance or whatever's going on right there. They're crying out like their entire life's history of you know, things that they've been mm -hmm. through. You know, so I think even with breakups or, you know, things like that, like uh when a man goes through a breakup, I think they hurt a lot more than a woman does because again we give financially we give um when a man gets into a relationship they start to break down all the barriers that they had with every other woman right mm -hmm. so that's why it's different for men because say a woman is, or a man has has been with 20 girls in his past they mean nothing to him when he finds a girl that he loves because now all those barriers that they were never able to get over, he's now opening them up for her. Right. And I do agree. I feel like that's definitely a big issue that women, like, if you think about it, when we go through a breakup, we go straight to our friends. We're express, we're crying. Mm -hmm. We're getting everything yeah, out. Too. This is how it, this made me feel. This is like, and they're like consoling us. And I'm like, I don't think men, like when they do go through a breakup, I'm sure their friends will laugh or like, bro, you'll be fine. Or I don't know if it, if they express as much as how women do, but I feel like that's why during a breakup they say that a woman goes through the breakup. Just a little more. Okay, <laughs> get closer. I feel like a woman goes through the breakup as soon as the breakup happens. Like we go through the whole healing phase, the crying, the talking to our friends, whereas I feel like a man will go straight into distracting mode. So they might jump straight into another relationship, jump straight into someone else, go out a lot, drink, whatever. I feel like they just distract and stimulate, whereas a woman kind of, like, heals at first, and then it switches. Once a woman's 
over it because they and did the whole did healing. Everything. She's moved on and yeah. she's yeah. done. And then a man's like, damn, now a few months later, the, it's hitting them and now they feel That's it. That's exactly what yeah. Yeah. And so it's right. backwards. Even with, uh, with my last relationship, I think after that breakup, um, like, and a lot of girls think like, oh, he's going to go fuck another girl the same night, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And it's um it's not really that case. Like, it's not even that easy. Because um, when you build an attachment with somebody, it's very hard to now form an attachment with anybody else. You know, so especially in my last situation, I felt like uh, after that, I had no sexual connection, no no physical or emotional connection to any other woman. It's I couldn't, I that. couldn't, uh, like, I couldn't even find myself adapting to any woman to give her anything. You didn't find, like, sexual attraction? I, I literally, know emotional yeah. attraction is hard, right. but... I right. literally, I literally did not even want to have sex with mm-hmm. another girl. Mm-hmm. And I think that, I don't know if it's like that for all men, but me personally, it was like something was taken out of me, and it was like I, I can't even give myself... Because mm-hmm. sex means something to me. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of men, like, you know, they can just have sex with whoever. Yeah. But, you know, but especially right now, I think I'm starting to form a lot more friendships um, with women. Um, and that's something that I, I didn't even believe in that for a very long time. Um, mm-hmm. I don't, it takes a man, like a very, very, very strong man to be able to have a friendship with a beautiful woman. And that's why I think that insecurity with us, it lies because it takes a lot for a man to just say, I don't want you sexually. You do look right. amazing though. That's actually a really good topic mm-hmm. too. Of like, be, if you're in a relationship and be, having friends of the opposite sex, because I know this has been like a big debate with like our friend group. I have friends who have a lot of guy friends and that's an issue for their man. I'm like, uh, I, I don't know if I believe in like having guy friends because I have had a lot of them cross the line. So I'm like, it's We're just waiting on you guys to give us the opportunity yeah. for the most part. Right. Yeah. That's how yeah. I feel. So that's why for same for me, like I don't want my man to be having all these like friends that are females that they're going on like lunch with and yeah. I don't know because it's easy to to form that emotional connection by time spending a lot of time together if that attraction's already there but I know a lot of people like disagree they're like oh you should be able to mm. have guy friends I think if the yeah. guy introduced you guys and then whatever they do with the friend they always invite you there because like my ex with yeah. his friends that he knew before me like he wouldn't really hang out with them as much because we would be with each other all the time. But when they would invite him somewhere, he's like, oh, can my girl come? And it's another girl. So, like, I don't know. I feel like that's cool. Yeah, I think for no reason under the sun can, like, <laughs> should a girl be solo with another yeah. guy no, if yeah, you're yeah. in a relationship? Right. So, with me, uh, let's just, I guess we'll throw this out there. So, I've done videos with, like, so many girls, like, just funny videos or whatever in the past. And there's been women that I've done videos with that have boyfriends, you know. And they would come around and, like, at first it's, like, come to all the, like, video shoots. And now it's, like, he just drops them off. And we're like, yeah, it's Dan. Yeah, but yeah. I, but I'm, I'm a very, like, if I'm not, I'm not, I'm an off that's, guy. You know? that's, that's also, like, you know, your entertainment side. Yeah. You know, so so imagine, uh, <laughs> like, like me, like, oh, I'm going to do this podcast. Rios, I'm not a dancer, entertainer, like that aspect, like, you know, more so seen as like the pretty boy, you know, so a lot of guys would find an insecurity in that. But then again, it's on me to just respect that guy. Yeah. And so that's something that um, I'm really big on, um, especially right now. Um, I don't I don't get with women who have men. Yeah. I, I, and a yeah. lot of and that takes a lot of uh, discipline on my side. Because a lot of women, that's why I asked you guys that question earlier, because a lot of women are in relationships that they're not happy with. Um, and so they're out clubbing, doing whatever. I don't think you should be out clubbing and you got a man. Mm-hmm. Just because if I want attention, um, I go out. If I'm secure in a house and I got a girl who's doing the nurturing things, cooking, cleaning, we kicking it, and that's my homie, it's like I don't really feel the need to go out. And if I do, it's like, babe, come on. Are you, are you one of those guys, like, if I got a homie – that had a girl, I can never fuck with that girl. I can never. I can never. At all, I think it's the weirdest thing. Yeah, I, I just, agree. I, just I, I can't do it. I, yeah. I can't do it. But some dudes out there don't give a fuck. They don't. 
Oh my god! But and like, the, I don't even want to yeah. look my friends so, in like too much oh, eye yeah. contact. Like I so, feel like so growing up, I made that mistake. I was young, you know. I was straight in high school, straight out of high school, and my friend, one of my like best friends, and thank God, you know, it took years, but we 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 cool now. Mm-hmm. It took years, but like he broke up with his girl, and I had to f- I fucked around with her. Damn. And that was the last time I ever did that, man. That was the last time. Cause what? Why was it the last time? It was the last time because, like, like he found out. Mm. She told him. And then it made me feel like such a terrible person, bro. And ever since then, like, and I grow up, I, I have four sisters and a mom. So, mm. you know, I've been around women my whole life. I was, And then ever since that bro, day. Bro code. It fucked me up. Like mentally, it's like damn, I just lost my best friend. Yeah, over some dumb ass shit. That's bro code. You know, <laughs> you can't yeah. do that one. Uh, you know, yeah. when I was shut yeah. out of high school, so you know. Yeah, fuck, so you're not you know, caring. Yeah. So that was a lesson. Yeah. But I feel like that 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 statement was with everything in life. Like when we make a mistake, we should be able to recoup and learn mm-hmm. from our mistakes and go past mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And that's that's you can't the, in every situation. Though. You can't in every. Yeah. People won't allow you to in every situation. Change. So just with yeah. cancel culture, like in general, yeah. like kind of rolling back to that. That's with anything in life. Talking to Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. No, and I think um, so. Back to the high value uh, men question, because we didn't really get that one <laughs> answered. <laughs> you guys just avoided it. That says a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, let's start with Jazz. <clears throat> Jazz, uh, what do you identify as a high value man? Um. I guess a high value man would be somebody who's, you know, like we touched on earlier, most people would say ambitious or has something going for themselves. Um, For me, what I personally think is like also high value is if you're a good person, you can also teach me some things too. Like you're trying to help me as well, like with both of our growth, like, Am I getting into more my type? Um, <laughs> or like, I, what I don't I think you're really saying much. Like, like, like that was very. How about this? That was very I know it's categorized as like yeah. high value to ev- to No, no, no. I want to know. Let's let's see what's high value to you because even that answer, answer was question. very like it was very general. Like you know, is he a good person? You know, I want to know if he's a good person. That don't. What does that mean? You can't look at a man in the club and be like he's a good person. All right. So like, let me ask you a question, and this is something that a lot of guys would want to know. So going okay. from going from a high valued, let's say, materialistic ex okay. who okay. had money, mm-hmm. whatever, blah blah blah, mm-hmm. would you ever financially downgrade to another man, but loved you more or just as much or more treated really better. treated you better? Would you downgrade? Would you downgrade financially? It's like, <laughs> hell no. Hey, <laughs> 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 yo, I'm, like, I'm going to make sure we zoom in on your face on these because she's know. like. <laughs> but I'm, I'm asking a lot of guys out there want to know those type of questions. Like, and be real. Be real. Because yeah. here's, you're, think you're, about this. Think you're about this, a certain Jackie. status level. So it's like. <laughs> so think about, so think about <laughs> this. Like, starting with me. Think about this, Jasmine. Let's just say. Let's just say. Out of your ex, boom, you're done with that, blah, blah, blah. Into the mic, because they need to hear Damn this Damn it, one. son of a bitch. In this right, you, yep. you turn this mic like this. Yeah, so we can talk. <laughs> Regardless, this is for women, you too. I'm just saying, if you have a guy who's financially like crazy, he takes care of everything, blah, 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 and then you downgrade it, significantly right. financially. Okay, significantly. Guy, I was about to say, it could be... Because yeah. if you're going from... Would you, you ever? Can, yeah. It could because be like there could to be a, a guy closer watching this. In like, gap. like you guys are kind of similar yeah. kind of lifestyle. But there you could be get. a guy watching this right now that would do everything for you. He has the looks. He uh-huh. he he would worship you, take care of whatever he could, nice. but he doesn't financially have the money. Yet. Yet. Now, would you downgrade for that moment of yetness? Like you say yet. Let's say he doesn't... Let's say he makes 50, 60 a year. Would you downgrade for that man who could look you in the eye and tell you he would do anything for you? He wants to grow with you. He wants to boom, boom, boom. Would you downgrade? And be loyal. Have? And be loyal. You. Yeah. If would I, you? I feel like I would, but it would go back to that, what we were talking about before, where it's like as long as they're willing to, because I already know where, where I'm about to be at, and I know how much <laughs> I'm bringing to the table. So... 
I definitely want you to kind of make me feel again back in my femi- feminine energy. So mm-hmm. you definitely need to be trying to like go after something and you have a plan and you're working towards it and but yeah. I would. I think it's natural I for think girls wait. to want to like so let's hear Adrian. provided. Let's hear Adrian. I feel like it's natural for girls to want like someone who could provide for them. So I will say it's hard like when you go from a lifestyle of someone taking care of you to going to something else. But I also am the type I fall for personality. So if I'm out and I meet you and then I realize, oh, he's not there yet. Like if the connection was right, like in the connection was good, like I'm going to give you a chance. Right. We'll give. Yeah. But as far I'll as like a chance for sure. Yeah. I don't know. It is kind of hard, though. I will it say is. Yeah. Hard. You do get used this to a certain a, lifestyle and you're like, OK, yeah. then when you're. But then when you're in the Honda, you're like, damn, it's not, <laughs> no ambient lights in here. It's no <laughs> stars on the roof. But it's no, but it's no R on the back But here's something, here's something yeah, that this is, not, this is not a selfish thing, but this is also for the men out there who are hearing what we're talking about. Like, don't stop. Don't, don't stop because if you want someone, let's say you want a Jasmine and you want to do anything for her, <laughs> but you are driving a Honda. Yeah. Don't let that stop you. Keep grinding. No. Keep, Keep grinding. grinding. I, you know there saying? is What's definitely. Wrong with the Honda? <laughs> yeah, Hondas What's are a reliable Honda? car. Honda's, Hondas are a very reliable car. I feel like it's nine. Is. So you guys oh, are. So you guys <laughs> are cool. It's got to be in 2020. You guys are cool. <laughs> <laughs> it got to be 2020 said, at least. I said a 1999 Honda. Okay, 2020 at least. You can't be renting it. 2020 at least. So you guys, you guys are cool with a man who drives a. Because Prius are Prius are big right oh. now. Oh no, Prius, no, no, no. Nope. Prius, no. Yeah. Yeah. Not a Prius. It's hey, a hard no. <laughs> Prius, no. I'm All right, King. Hey, that King, it's a no on the Prius. This is a this is hey, a personal go question back from to one of Toyota my, from and drop that motherfucker off. Prius is like a get a camera. Yeah, yeah, that's a personality. Yeah, hey, you King, slow. get rid of it. Throw it away. Get in the way. Yeah. Go back to Toyota. and Drop that motherfucker off. Okay. So Honda is cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Honda's Trade Toyota. Reliable car. Trade Honda, Honda. Yeah. Go to the, go to okay. the Honda dealers if you got a Prius. Drop that bitch off. You got a you Prius. A <laughs> if you got a Prius, get in go the turn it in right now. Okay. Go turn it in. Look, right, she's it for the, the environment. Oh, look. But well, y'all then, know gas is crazy right now, so yeah, come on. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, then get a Tesla. To a Tesla. <laughs> get a Tesla. Get a Tesla. <laughs> Tesla. Uh, Tesla. They Save both said it at the same time, too. Have y'all had this conversation before? We have it. No? no? Okay, that we was just, on point. We're here with it. We're, okay, yeah. they got some kind I'm of psychiatric shit out. going on. Today. Yeah. Okay. So I appreciate that. I mean, because the, the high value man question was not answered still. I mean, what's a high but value a woman? What's like a high value woman? I was waiting for you to ask me. Thank you very much. A high value woman is a woman who makes more money than me, and where is she? Let her know I'm available. Who I am available for any high value woman. I could be a male gold digger. What's wrong with that? Gotcha. Got plenty of women I mean, under. Get it how you want it. You know what I'm saying? If I got it, if I how you live. Look, see, Rihanna, uh, she, she get it. Oh, Rihanna. Oh, God. Yeah. Rihanna is. I love Rihanna. Oh. Oh, he's going to die. Yep. Are right, we good? So we have some other ones. Nah, but. So, question. Uh, ooh, so you guys are. I don't really see you guys out too much. I do see you guys at some pretty exclusive events. So you guys, you know, I'm not seeing you guys at like I, station six. You know what's crazy? Yeah. You're right. What's up, brother? And I love that. Yeah. Because I like seeing women at events right. more than mm. just being out mm. of the club. Out of the club. Yeah. Right. And I have been in the house for like a year. I haven't been out as much as I went. Uh, there's been a handful of parties I've been to. French's. French's you know, was good. You know, I had to turn up for French. French is good people. Um. But yeah, that's that's an that's an event. Yeah. So right. when we see women out like that, that's a different type of story. But that also comes back to what we were talking about earlier about how guys are insecure about things. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if a girl is out a lot and everything, then you would be like, that's a, like a red flag. Mm-hmm. That's not a high value woman. It's like, what's your purpose for being out? So like for yeah. me personally, when I'm going out. And everybody's gonna say it, but I literally go out to network. Mm-hmm. I met right, I met same. every one of you guys out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if I went home to my girl that night and she's like, "Oh, you was with all them bitches' faces and da da da," like I, I was, but they're gonna be on the right. podcast. Right. It's a perfect reason. network, yeah, you know. Right. It was network for a reason. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So if you have a reason to be out every single night, you could be out every single night, and there's nothing to be said about it. But if you're just out, like 
oh, I just want to go have fun. I just want to drink. Well, ma'am, you have a problem. Stop drinking. So much. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> you, stay in the, you need to stay in the crib. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then that also says a lot about our relationship and, like, your love for me and things like that because it's like, damn, like, you don't just want to be here kicking it. Like, you don't want to go do things with just us. You know, things like that. It's like you'd rather be outside, you know, doing your thing. And that's all cool. It's just why are we together, though? Mm-hmm. Right. You're right. I agree. I, gotta I be think out if, with her. if you're like, that would be a red flag for me, too, if a guy was out all the time, always wanting to party, go out. Like, I get, like you were saying, the events and networking, it serves its purpose, but you don't got to be everywhere. And then when you allow so much access to yourself, I feel like your value does go down Mm -hmm. because you're so accessible. Like I see, like, I don't know. There's a lot of people. It's just, you're so accessible that it's not even special. It's not even special when you are like, I'd rather be like, Oh wow. She's out tonight. There's some celebrities in the city where it's like everything, every place I go to. I'm like, but I thought you was like, yeah, I thought you was this. Now I'm like in this. I'm like, (laughs) just don't even. What's good? (laughs) You the homie now, (laughs) you know? But I think that's that's also, you know, what makes. So we let's talk about high, high value. value. Yeah, let's talk about, um, what is it? We asked what high value men are. Let's talk about high value women. Yeah, I mean. Dan, you want to touch on it? I mean, we could touch on it. Uh, Iris, I mean, I love high value women. You know, when you meet a boss, and I have met some bosses in my life. Okay, because before you, you said, you, yeah, said like, you did meet some bosses. Yeah, but no, meeting high value women, that's amazing. Cause I love seeing if a woman makes more money than me, I am like. So it's a money thing. With okay, you. so high value so is women. Money. is Yes, it's financial for me. Let me financial. tell you. So for me, it's um, exclusivity. Okay. Right. It's passion for something. Okay. It's consistency. Mm-hmm. I think consistency is probably the most. It's probably the biggest thing for me. I want a girl who like is always scheduling things. Like the you know the girls who got an agenda on their kitchen. I mm-hmm. love when I walk in and I see candles. Mm-hmm. Oh, went to mm-hmm. to a girl's crib. Walk into a girl's crib. I see candles. I see books on the kitchen table. I see a Bible. Those are like a few things yes. where I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe I took that out of perspective. He's like, okay, let's, no, let's try this but again. The thing is, you know, y- y- let's try that again. All right, yes. So because there, I have met you know, you know, beautiful women who or are, are like that. They're mm-hmm. caring. Um, they have stuff set up already ready to do things you know people that go out their way and to like when you let's say you you come to something and like let's say they invite you let's go do something and they over exceed your limits expectations of have something ready for you that you didn't expect a woman who goes out her way um and it's not it's let's just say like so getting a gift let's say it's your birthday all right when a woman goes out her way to get you anything that's 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 amazing. It's big. It's big. It could be anything. And girls don't even understand how big it is. Um, my last relationship, I think she felt like because of whatever status <laughs> level I'm at, she couldn't do little things for me. Mm-hmm. And it was the little things that was like the that biggest. The world. Yeah, it was the biggest because I did the little things for her. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm out and I'm you know getting some like decorations or something from wherever, I'll, I could be at Target. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, she likes this, or I see, uh, I see like an ornament or something. I'm like, this would look good here, mm-hmm. or a painting. It's like, oh, she has that blank wall in her crib. Let's put this here. She's always scheduling things. Let me get her an agenda. You know, so let's a, a little, little louder for the yeah, yeah, maybe <laughs> <laughs> some men need to take yeah. notes. <laughs> so I mean, I was I was doing you know a lot of like the little things, right? So um, I'm always thinking of is that your love language. You know, that's language? true love language. Like that plays a part yeah. too, because some is gifts. Love language? Tell me. You don't get either physical love language. Okay, okay let's go through like the five. Different. Let's go through the five because it's five of them, right? Yeah. Okay, so from the top, me. from the top, okay. what are the five love languages? So the love languages are gifts, words of affirmation, acts so of service. Back yeah, should we describe each one? We'll describe each one. So Act gifts, giving, some people like to give gifts and they like to receive gifts. Then there's words of affirmations, giving compliments, saying I love you, like I hope you, like mm-hmm. nice so, words. So Then there's acts of service. Like go fill up my, like he you goes fill up my fill gas, up my gas for the day or, or you went and fix something that I needed right, done. So or, hold on, we're not done, there's two more. There's quality time, quality time, which is a big one. 
spending time together, and the last one's physical, physical touch. touch. Mm. Which that mm. for a lot of men. I don't know nothing about yeah. that. Yeah. Men, yeah. Cuddling. No one told me about love language. Kissing. I mean, that's yeah. just what you just told me. Is you just gotta a, take the test. No, no, it's no, not even there a is test. a test. The You're gonna say that you should already be doing. Yeah, all five of them. Right. But what are like your main? I don't know because they need to hear it. Some people. But you elaborate on something that I grew up as old fashioned mm-hmm. Southern. You know what I'm saying? Like right. <laughs> some people just don't care as much about like if you give them a gift or like oh okay. But now if you like spend all day with them, that's just so yeah. means so much to mm-hmm. them. So it's like it differs for people. Some people aren't as touchy, but they love like when you do something kind, like oh I did the dishes for you or mm-hmm. acts of service. So it just depends on the person. But you need to know your partner's you love do. language. Cause and like some some girls, you know, some girls are the type like they'll walk in and they just go jump on you, like they go on mm-hmm. like, you know, sitting on the couch, they go jump on yeah. you. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I gotta Hello. say is so, right. babe, after, but I'm acting nonchalant. Yeah, hey, stop, man, stop. Drop my cheeks. Yeah, after what y'all just said, like as women, I'm just gonna shout out my mom real quick, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna shout out my mom. Because growing up, my dad taught me never to abuse women. Always treat them right. Mm. Open and close doors. You know, mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> and when girls be like, don't call me ma'am. I was like, I'm from the South. So it's just a, it's a humble thing. Like growing up, my mom, she was at home all the time. My mom was a stay-at-home mom. My dad works his ass off. Didn't have a lot of money, but he works his ass off. Took care of the kids, clean, cooked. You know, the old fashioned stuff. And my dad was always that polite man. And I'll tell you one thing, my stepdad, he was my stepdad because I didn't know my real dad. He was a he was a man and he was he was a loving, caring husband to my mother and R.I.P. to my father who passed away um, 10, what, 10 years, 11 years now uh, ago. Him and my mom were together for 16 years. But I'll tell you one thing, he never looked at another woman. He never because. When, you know, I just knew what kind of man he was. He was really there for me and my mom. And that's the type of man I want to be for my future. I want to get married. I want to get married. So my future wife, to my kids, I want to be that loving, caring father who takes care of whatever I got to do. But we're, we live in a new era. We live in a whole nother generation to where, you know, there are girls out there, women out there who want to work too. And I respect that, you know, if we can both, get together, build build a relationship, build a financial relationship, work to build something together, no matter what it is, you know, I, I would love to get that one day. So that's what, you know. Which I think that's a, another issue too, is like there's a lot of people who didn't have a, see a loving relationship mm-hmm. growing up or see how this is how my mom or my dad loved each other. And so they don't have like the best example. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that plays a big role as well. Now all they have is today's social media. Exactly. And, and, and the like media, like, even back thinking to... Thinking we should be like future. and The media yeah. portrays... People look up to... Yeah, because so me- that's what's more entertaining. Like, yeah. you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of happy couples. There's a lot of couples that have been together 10 plus years and stuff like that. But I couldn't tell you one of them. Mm-hmm. I could tell you who broke up in the past month. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I think I was on the shade room, and I seen, y- I, y'all probably seen that they put, like, the red, the red squiggly yes, line. Yeah. But it was, like, three it was in like a week, three one posts. Yeah. cheated I think on it was, like, a day. <laughs> yeah. It was, like, Tom Brady Tom Brady's and, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, all in a day. And, and but that's you know, what people want. You know the sad thing about see. that is, too? The media will put stuff out. And no no offense to whoever's, you know, the shade room or nothing, whoever's posting it. I mean, they're doing their job. Yeah. Like, you know. It's what sells. It, it, yeah. It's what sells, and they're making their money. So you can't hate on that. But it's the what the media puts out to make people how they image and feel about a person. Yeah. And that sucks. But that's and how it is. And it also creates the new norm. Mm-hmm. Right. So now for us, like, breakups is like a norm. Yeah. yeah right. Because those are the people we're looking up to. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Like, and then you have social media and you can go shopping for somebody new like that. In an yeah. instant. Social media you know, is a dating so, site. So I had a girl came by today. We did a video together. We did a TikTok. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, um. She went on TikTok and said, I have these saved things for couples because we were trying to just do a regular TikTok. It was like, let's look, search up couples. A lot of videos were deleted because the couples broke up. Yeah. So it was like so many. You know, you think about people breaking up all the time. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. So, dang, we was going. Yeah, we was going. How long <laughs> we been here? How long has it been? Director? 
what time is this? Yeah, I don't know. 9.15. I don't know what time. Well, we, my we were supposed to start at 7. So um, we'll close out with a couple other questions. So mm-hmm. um, ladies, would you prefer a rapper, trapper, scammer, or businessman? Throw the athlete rapper, in there, trapper, too. Oh, athlete. Scammer, I forgot to throw that. Yep, the top five. <laughs> you got to throw the athlete in there. Top five, top five. <laughs> top five, top five. I speak for myself when I say, you go first. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Throw, throw the, throw no, for the, me personally, throw, throw the man in there who makes Or the nine to five men. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Or the ch- humble, not humble nine to five, okay. low key. Yeah. Okay. We won't say low class. We'll say low, low key, key, man. Low key. Okay. Yeah. Low for key. me, I'm going to choose a businessman. Okay. That's the place I'm at in life right now. Boo. I want someone. No, no, that's true. Jeez. Is it, is uh, it right the truth? Now, yes. Right now, yes. In this moment. Okay. The businessman. In the past, we're not going to speak about it. Successful but right now, man. I want a businessman. And I don't want someone who has all this status that is just wants to be out there as a clout chaser because now a lot of men have been clout chasing as well. Um, <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> as well. <laughs> but um, definitely a businessman for me. Okay, Adri. I would say I'd be looking for that. Like that's what I'd want, I'd ideally. But <laughs> that's not. What She's I like, end but what up. comes to what me comes, is like the athlete. I feel like you're athlete. That is athlete. true. Athlete, you know what? Athlete. I feel like, and people always want to get yeah, on know. us it's women hey. about <laughs> like, oh, she dates all these athletes or she whatever, but they don't realize like that happens to be like what a lot of influencers are around or at certain events, mm-hmm. these rappers, so, yeah. in, athletes, people within the industry. Can I take a second to applaud both of you guys? Dan, you too. You're a great guy. Yeah, okay. But I just want to applaud both of you guys um, because you guys have gone, you know, this far and built such a high platform, but in like a very respectful way. So when I look at your guys' videos, for one, I don't see, you know, too many collaborations. So we know that people are focused on you. Right. And secondly, like, it's barely any skin. You know what I'm saying? It's not you guys posted up in a bikini pic, every single picture oiled up to the maximum, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's it's literally just you guys being your beautiful selves and, and being, you know, kind of respectful. So I think in a sense Thank you. Yeah, I just wanna <laughs> you know, I just wanna give you guys your flowers on that one. I'm a I'm gonna send you guys some flowers, some actual Aww. flowers too. Aww, but I, I just wanna say, you know, I appreciate that and I think a lot of men out there as well appreciate that that you know, if you guys want to go to somebody's page and see, like, again, I think you guys, I would I would classify you guys as high-value women. You know what I'm saying? Aww. And it's because I, I go to your guys' pages and I see preservation. I see quality. I see happiness. You know, everything like that. And I don't see you guys attacking the dark side of men. You know what I'm saying? Because it's easy to attract a man with your body. Right. And you guys choose not to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say, you know, we appreciate thank you guys. That. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that was very sweet. Because, you know, sometimes being even an IG model, they'll say, like, can get a lot of negative connotations, mm-hmm. and they just assume, like, I don't know, that you're just using your body or this to, like, get attention. You're not really doing but, much. Yeah, just using you. But we try not well, to. I mean, yeah. God gave you beauty for a reason. But, yeah, nothing towards yeah, the women that's who nothing, do nothing as well. wrong with it. Because yeah. I love them too. You, that, you know, yeah, I love them too. <laughs> for yeah, all y'all who show ass and that is, that's cool too. Do you? Yeah. You know, do you? Yeah. And it's, sure. it's, it's, wrong it's different. A lot of a lot of men, and I'm sure that that also brings like the type of men that you guys attract as well as like you know the type of stuff you guys post. So you know, somebody who's posting the, the opposite would probably be more so this scammer and thug life. You know, all of them. You know, I mean, I probably get them too. So <laughs> <laughs> they get She's they like, get yes. everything. Yeah. They get everything. Audrey, you didn't answer. So, yes, yeah, it's athlete. Well, also, not just because they're <laughs> she always like an ex- no, She always want to explain no, something no, and, like, get completely off topic like of the question. I'm, no, <laughs> like, what? I'm yeah. also an active person. So, like, I like mics. people that want to be, like, adventurous <laughs> and, like, active. Yeah. So, which, I like that. Which I agree. I like people who are also, because we both have we both been raised, sports, like, very too, so. athletic sports and stuff. Yeah. So, it, we, we understand, like, we, like, so what's your games. answer? <laughs> what's so it? you know what? If we don't discriminate, if so we, we don't, are, <laughs> we don't discriminate. You if just need a bag. You're not gonna say no. You just gotta, like you just have to come with a good energy, good personality, very respectful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I go off the person, not just your occupation. Yeah, I'm very big on personality. Like if we click, you're talking with your it doesn't even matter. <laughs> 
You love it. Now, because <laughs> I get like you know, she gets so, so into it. Now get into it. Just move it. Just you know these things move. They can just. I know. Yeah. I spent a lot of money. Can everybody just say, "Damn, you can squiggle with these." Like you Damn, do you, it. Yeah. Way down here. Okay, hold on. You done squiggle no. too much, Dan. Hey, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> now you can get to singing. Do, do your thing, Dan. I'm gonna fix it first. We'll fix it later. Just hold it like a mic. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just we got one, we got Dan on the ones and twos. You know. I think we did have oh, 21. Do I your kinda, thing, 21. <laughs> <laughs> My, okay, we had, we had, that was crazy. Did you do the, she did. Do your thing, 21. Dan, can we get yeah, the, um, can hey. we get the Jeffrey Dahmer real quick? I was about to say that. Get the, a get the Jeffrey Dahmer real quick. Get the Jeffrey. <laughs> Hold, on. Hold on. I just want to take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> he did that too good. Too good. Oh my God. Can you hit the dance? I, I think it's just a. Is it? Twenty one. Do your thing. Oh, he's doing the twenty one. He's stuck on that. He was doing that before the camera was even rolling. He was doing that before y'all got here. Yo, I look, look, and I love the boys so much, and I fuck with twenty one. So it's like seeing that shit, bro. I know they laughing at they're that shit. Sure bro. Like they're laughing that. at that shit. It's pushing but at, the song. But it's pushing yeah. the song. Yeah. It's pushing them as individuals, and that's just how the internet works. And that's yeah. just a blessing exactly. to themselves. It's a blessing. Know. And you know, that's, curse, that's, that's just a blessing. Yeah. So you can't ever hate on the blessings, bro. My uh my last question for all of you guys. Um, so again, Dan, I want to throw you you know this one in with you. I bet. Um, yeah. so again, I appreciate all of you guys just for. And I'm trying to be sentimental. You over here playing with the little thing. <laughs> hey, thing. look, I'm having fun with the mic. Right, okay, go ahead. put it down. So put it. Yeah, it won't go down. down. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, oh it it you know what? Go. We'll keep it up. <laughs> hey, it won't go down. <laughs> look, oh, oh, because the mic is a yeah. yeah, yeah the mic has to be attached. Um, so. Oh yeah, because you're not even talking to it. Just leave it. Look, so um, again, I want to, you know, say congratulations to you guys for all building a platform and, you know, building so much of an influence. Um, but for everybody out there who's watching, uh, what advice do you guys have for them on how to stay consistent and how to reach a goals and how to kind of follow a similar path as you guys to get, in, you know, that same similar type of success? However, y'all want me, I'll go Jazz first. Go 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 first. You know, Dan's gonna be. I'm gonna tell y'all real talk, <laughs> some real ass shit. Here. I grinded my ass off in 2017 with Nick. Me and him were making videos every fucking day. Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm talking about. And then even when me and Nick separated, we didn't separate. It's still my dog. You know, mm -hmm. I love Nick to death. Like ride or die, whatever he need, I got him. Doing that is just being consistent. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, and I told you this before we got on. I took a break from social media because I lost someone really close to me, family member. Um, I had some people betray me. I cut everybody off. I got off the internet for about six months. I was just reposting old content. But being consistent, I know it's repetitive. And when people say that over and over, <clears throat> but attacking trends, being consistent, if you want to be an influencer, but not just being an influencer, anything, even stand-up comedians, they attack anything that's going on in the world. Uh, trends, et cetera. Um, you know, you have your Andrew Tate's, you have your Brittany Renner's, like anything that's going on in the world. If you want to be successful, you have to take a piece of content and wrap it around something that is relevant in the industry in the world that's going on today. And that is 100% true. That will help you. You can have your own sound. You can have your own niche like when me and nick started no one else was doing that nobody and we started that you guys shit. took it off we took it off <laughs> you know Dan, this, to uh, this oh, day this up, is dude. years this is and years people, later i will literally go outside right now i kid you not i can walk three four blocks some motherfucker will look at me and be like dan is that you baby do the 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 it doesn't matter where i go i went to japan twice people you know Japanese who couldn't even speak English knew who I was. Like, oh, we Konnichiwa, <laughs> Dan. Do the, do the, see you late. You know, it's yeah. the thing is, bro, and it sucks. And I'm telling you guys this, and I myself didn't even listen to my own advice by falling off in a way because I got off the internet. I needed it mentally. I have not been consistent these past few months, and it has affected me also mentally because. Not just because Instagram is kind of like, you know, the viewage is not the same. You don't get the same engagement. But 
I know the difference. I'm not dumb. I have three point whatever million followers. I don't get the engagement. Three point three. Had. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get the same exactly. engagement I once yeah. had. I still get, you know, I'll still hit a million views every three or four videos, you know, yeah. you know, but you know, my TikTok is popping. TikTok, same thing. You, you won't hit a million views every video, but you'll still do good numbers. And I had a talk and this is on the hush. And it's not really the hush. Gary V and me talked recently. You don't know who Gary V is. You know who Gary V is? Yeah, they're pick, it's picking it up. I'm here. I'm oh, seeing the light. Got to make sure yeah. this is good stuff, Dan. I love it. So Gary V literally told me, he's like, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I have been fucking lazy. It is hard for me to wake up in the morning and want to do content like I used to do. Because not only did I have Nick as like a companion friend to do videos with. It was a motivator. It was a, it was a motivational thing for me because it was like, ah. Uh, I'm like, I was the motivator. And now that I don't have people around me, mm. I've become it's a like, toll. Yeah. Mm. you know, I don't have, I work off of people. Yeah. I work really good off of people, but that's just like a movie. Don't it's get, like, it's just yeah. like a movie. You don't watch a movie with one person by himself, the whole movie, do you? There's always someone in the movie. And then this is no, no disrespect to like stand up comedians. They do their shit. Mm. They make funny shit by themselves. And you yeah. gotta like, Hold your hat off to them because that is a hard job. Yeah. Very, that's a big shout out to them because it's very hard. They practice that shit for hours, vice versa, blah, blah, blah. It's but like going to the gym, like having the discipline to go to the gym. Exactly. Like you need an accountability partner. Exactly. But there's always, you know, if you truly want to do this and you want to be an influencer, you have to stay consistent. You have to. And I hate that people just say that. And that's what everyone falls onto. Like, oh, consistency is key. It is. It is true. Big shout out to, uh, like, there's a lot of people out there who are consistent, like Drewski, um, Haha Davis. Me, you know, Haha Davis and me kind of started together, and we're still, like, relevant to this day. Everyone knows who we are, but still posting. Yeah. You know, Robbie World, I love Robbie right now. Oh boy. Robbie is dog, killing it Rob. right now. Rob's going to be on one of the next ones. He's, Robbie he just is told me he's going to fly out in December. He's killing it right now. Yeah. You know, and he just, he's got the, the trending sound right now that he made viral, mm. you know, and that's just for instance, if you look at Robbie shit, if I, I literally pull up his page right now, and I know you can cut and edit this because it ain't going to take but a second for me to look on his page. <laughs> <laughs> everything's, everything's natural. Look. But no, I mean, even Rob, I, I knew Rob when he had, uh, I met Rob when he had 14,000 followers. But look at this. Rob posts so much. Some videos won't get a couple thousand Mm. A few thousand likes, but he keeps going. Yeah. And then that's, that's the thing that's what w- was hardest for me is because I got used to fucking everything I post hit like two, four, 300,000, 500, six, a million. Yeah. Everything was just good numbers to some time. So like, since I took my break coming back, my videos weren't doing the numbers they were. You know? this and it, and it yeah. mentally also throws me off. It's like, yeah. fuck. I want to delete it. I get mad. You see people hiding their likes now and stuff. They I got that oh, yeah, an option. That sure. too. And yeah. I see people. I see people with less followers than me getting more likes yeah. and less and are the same amount of time that I post. Mm-hmm. And it yeah. pisses me the fuck off. Mm-hmm. But it's also my laziness that has really. So when I mean this with no disrespect, with women, you know, y'all, y'all don't do what I do. I make content like, right? comedian like i make funny i try to do dancing and stuff Mm -hmm. um you know and i've worked with you in the past jasmine you know it's fun you know we just do a little skit whatever but y'all y'all mostly post photos correct yeah mostly photos so y'all are very photogenic influencers Mm -hmm. i am a content creator that has to think fucking video ideas to top the next video every fucking day and it is mentally stressful oh yeah yeah People oh, don't it's definitely that. more difficult for men influencers too, because yeah. I feel like you do have to like come with some sort of skits or be funny or have something, which I think is important for advice I would give is finding like your niche because I think some people like if you go with like like you were saying the trends, trending sounds, using that, but also figuring out maybe am I more like I'm a motivational speaker and people like hearing what I have to say. I give good dating advice. Like, fine, everybody has something that they can offer to the world that people want to listen to and they that you'll find your community that they want to watch. Like, whether that could be doing, like, cooking channels, cleaning, anything. You got to find what your niche is. And then, like you said, be consistent. 
try to take care of your mental health because I know a lot of people who have started getting into content creating, influencing, have had a lot of issues with like anxiety. It's a lot of scrutiny. It's a lot of people judging everything, especially when you're doing things that show more your, even just your personality. That can be hard. So I feel like making sure you take care of your mental health and like make sure you have those times where you have those breaks too. Yeah, you got to be consistent. You got to work hard. But make sure you're also having that time to like, you know, for yourself or you're not. It's hard. It's it's hard. But like also me and her, we do so much content together and we're kinda like our accountability mm-hmm. our little team, partners, yeah. you know, That's awesome. partners, yeah. which has helped a lot. She takes a lot of my photos. I take a lot of her photos, majority. Yeah. So I, I think didn't realize how hard it was too when she was in a relationship and she yeah. was like living somewhere else i'm like geez i really do count on her a lot because we take each other's content and everything and we're motivation right it makes a big difference if you you have to find that person who like is kind of in this world as well with you to kind of and that's i think that's big too is because like we spoke about this on one of my last uh videos is uh like the hidden jealousy and envy and things like that so like you know some of my past guests were speaking about like friends who won't post them or they won't tag them or things like that. Yeah. Or like, you know, the people who you ask them to take your picture and they're like, they'll take five. Attitude. They're yeah. like, yeah. they're like, yeah, one of these is good here. Yeah. It's like you know? hurt your head's cut off. And it's, yeah. you know, and, and, but to have somebody who really supports you and you can support back, I think that's major. <clears throat> but Adri, um, you can go last. What you know, what is, what advice do you like have for somebody? You guys, you guys said, like, a lot of good things. Like, the same things I would say. Like, find a passion and just keep going and stuff. Like, everyone sees their favorite person where they're at, like, already blown up. But they don't see, like, how long it takes. You just got to put it out. Sometimes just the things it. that it's, it's not deep. so, like, polished. Because people are starting to gravitate towards things that aren't organic so polished. Has always organic, been, yeah. organic has always been the W. Right. Always. That's why you got to find what you're passionate about and what you can offer that is your niche because if you if that's something that you enjoy doing it's going to come off more organic yeah you're not forcing it yeah. that's true well i respect everyone here and i wouldn't be here same. if i didn't me too. same especially a young entrepreneur hit me up the other day be like hey you want to do a podcast oh yeah and my manager was like don't do no fucking podcast with, right? are you getting paid i'm like no it's just it's just love you know yeah you know so i appreciate you guys not for real because you guys could have been anywhere you guys are here at the perfect network, and um, no, I put a lot of I put a lot into this, like the branding of everything. Uh, you guys get to take home a perfect, oh, perfect water. Oh, you know, I love like water. Now, is this yeah. spring? Is this <laughs> yeah, spring? This is this uh, spring or is this what is this? A this pH? is um, yeah, it's actually alkaline water. From, oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Is this okay. alkaline? It's alkaline. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. That's great. Yeah, I appreciate you for having <laughs> us too. Scam. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it was all scam. Yeah, tell me how. Tell me how it's wow. Yep. Everybody's drinking. It's good, huh? So definitely we alkaline. We it's definitely, definitely alkaline, right? Definitely alkaline. Yeah, it's crazy. Straight from the mountains. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. From the mountains. Mm-hmm. I, I literally from the yeah. Himalaya mountains. So that's where we got it. But yeah, man, I appreciate you guys again. You guys could have been anywhere, but you guys came and came to mess with me and talk about some good stuff. So. I'm going to drop yeah, everybody's Instagrams below. You guys yep. make sure to go and follow them. Show love, support. You are here on the perfect <laughs> network. Yes. We tap it out. Do your thing, 21. Thank you, guys. <laughs> 21. Do oh your God. thing. Yeah.